Amigas y amigos, in this movie I just want to show you other option for grouping and I'm gonna press um, oh, actually let me show you what we have here, we have uh, our box okay, with polygon mesh, 9 axis divisions, I scale, it, uh, scale this a little bit um, it's not really important now we have another sphere here, okay, the same parameters we used in the previous movie and now I want to show you how we can use our other option called uh, we tape groups, okay, group copy, this one is the one that I want to show you but first let me select a portion of my box, okay, because I want to create a selection here first let me select um, my selection tool obviously, okay, okay, I already have this selection I'm gonna select this range, so remember, tap here in my viewport and call my group attribute node, click and there we go, we have our box and our group node, so we have these three different nodes here now what I want to show you is how we can use our copy node, alright, for groups, so let's uh, type group, group copy, here we have another cool and fancy uh, node, as you can see, let me show you the logo, okay, we have this group, and I, actually let me delete this one here, I don't need it anymore, and there we go, we have only these four different nodes. Now what I can do with this node, the group copy, is copy, uh, I can copy groups from one kind of geometry and paste that group into another geometry, alright? It's like a transfer kind of thing. So we have two different inputs, here I have the geometry to copy groups to and then here we have the geometry to copy groups from, alright? So we have these two different, okay? Well, here you can see the entire dialog here. Now obviously it's a simple tool, I can select here, okay? the group uh, that I want to to use then I can select this one and place that right here, make this one visible and now I am using this group number 2 in my sphere instead of my box alright, if you don't believe me let me show you with another example press tab and I'm gonna create a material here material node, there we go and I'm gonna select this, paste it right here, make this one visible I'm gonna select my group my group, uh, as you can see, my sphere is not using a group, okay? We don't have a group for our sphere. We have a group for our box, all right? So I can go here, group, select group number two, material. Don't worry about materials right now. Uh, brick, we have this one right here. And there we go. So I am copying this group to my sphere or, or, or transferring this group to my sphere. And that way I can apply a material based on this group, all right? and that's how we can use all these different options and remember it doesn't matter if you are uh, using materials or translation okay you can use a transform node and for example select this make this one visible and for him for example i'm going to scale this sphere all right if i move this parameter you can see i'm scaling the entire object but if i select my group number two you gotta be here yeah group number two and i scale this you can see that I am scaling only that portion, only my group uh, number two, only that specific selection. Even that I didn't select these polygons on my sphere originally, I, I can uh, have a, a transfer. Well, I, I can use this copy group copy node uh, and transfer all this information from this group to the sphere. And I hope you have um, now a, a clear idea of what we can do with our selections, our groups and why we have different options here in Houdini and I see you in the next movie.